Okay, on this one here, so I got all the camping stuff done. This video here, um, I have uh, another Humvee piece that came in. Um, and then I have some gun stuff. So. That's this. And that's this little guy here. Um, oop, let me hold it the right way. But that's kind of weird. They have that that way and that that way. All right, whatever. Um, yeah, so this little thing. Uh, I am concerned about this because of the size. Um, I don't know if I'll, if I'll be keeping it. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. It's even smaller than the box. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I was very hesitant. I mean, I can always return it. Um, and that's actually, so I paid more money for this just to get it through, um, um, just to get it through Amazon because the return policy is super easy. Oh, God dang it, this thing is so small. Well, I don't know. I guess we'll see. I was really wanting something bigger than this. But like I said, this is exactly why I went and got it through uh, Amazon. Um, all right, so here's the plug for that. And then, um, oh, that's to hardwire it in. So that's to go cigarette lighter and then hardwire. For me, it'll be hardwire because it's the Humvee. Um, so this little deal here. It has the inclinator, and that's mainly what I bought this thing for, is just for that. Okay. I gotta put that together there. Um, the Humvee can actually handle some extreme angles. Um, nose up, nose down. Well, obviously nose down, like whatever, with any vehicle. Uh, but nose up. It's supposed now they, with the Humvee. It's the from what I remember, all the ratings are when you when it's fully loaded. So like, you know, when it has you know four or five thousand pounds of stuff on it, you know, armor, guns, whatever, and um, that's where they give the ratings on is when it's all loaded up, and it's supposed to be able to climb up sixty percent grade, and um, the left to right. Um, it's supposed to be, I believe it's, it can handle 40, 40% left to right tilt uh, because it has a low center of gravity uh, because of how the engine and transmission and, and the, the width of the vehicle. So anyways, um, yeah, I guess I should do this video for this in, a, in like in my car or something where I can plug it in. Um, so I'll have to do another video. That screen is kind of small. You can only you can see right there. It's from my right there like that. So I know that some of the numbers are just going to be hard to read. Um, so it looks like we got about a inch and a half by about two inches. Inch and a half by about two inches. It, for the speedometer, and I, yeah, it's a Humvee. Like, I'm never going to be speeding unless, you know, like in town here. In, so Idaho is a weird thing where it's like 35 miles an hour whenever you're in town for like 80% of in-town driving. <laughs> the speed limit is 35 miles an hour. So um, other than that, the Humvee will really never be able to speed. So I'm not worried about getting busted on the freeway speeding like I, you know, like I would in my Audi. Um, but, so anyways, I got this for the inclinator for the most thing, but then it also does the satellite stuff. It tells you how many satellites you're connected to. Um, then it has, like I said, the, oh, it has that altimeter because, you know, it's all, that's all that information off the GPS satellites. Um, so, 
then it has like a clock setting and it'll show you your direction, you know, um, which is, the direction can be a good thing. Um, but I don't know. Um, I, there's one other one that I, I might, that I probably will buy. And then, um, whatever one I like the best, I'll just keep it, return the other one. But so with that size, so you have all this stuff, you know, you, what is that? An inch and a half from top to bottom? Like, you know how small those numbers are going to be? It's just, yeah, it, it, you know, and then this down here, your coordinates, which that can be useful at times. Um, but this is the screen. It's such a waste. Get rid of the screen. Get rid of the damn planet. All these satellites. You don't need to show me the strength of each one. As long as a thing gets reception, it's going to be good. Um, so maybe give a, a signal strength, maybe. But you take up all the space and you're left with all these small numbers. Now, that's just for this one screen. The other screens are different. Um, but there's a couple of the screens that have smaller numbers like this. And when you're trying to drive, you... Even with good eyesight, that doesn't matter. You're having to like find these small letters, small numbers, and find them while you're driving. It's just, I don't know. I don't, I'm not, I don't know. I'll have to use it and, and see how it goes. All right. So, gun stuff. I got these little guys here. These little um, universal, little universal um, for the magazines. I got, I got two of them. I got two of them for my uh, P365 SAS, and uh, I got some hollow points in here, and yeah, I mean, look at that. That goes all the way in there. Uh, you can see it right in there. That's all the way in there, and that goes on your belt loop, and I can tell you by pushing that thing in there, that thing is not going to come out at all. I mean, that... You have to like, when that's all the way in there, like you got to pull on that thing pretty good. I think you could be, you can be doing any kind of hiking, jumping around and all that. And this mag, th these mags are just never going to come out of here. Like that really does feel like it's holding them really tight. Um, I think they were only like 10 bucks a piece. I think this was Cabela's. Um, so I got two of them. For my two, my two extended, my 15 round extended magazines. Um, these are the, um, SIG actually makes these bullets specifically for the, um, um, the subcompact gun, uh, cause it has such a short barrel. So these burn quicker. Uh, let's see here. My time, my time is eight minutes. Oh. Uh, I just got some of these standard deals like this. You get your numbers, have a little score, a little shoot out with your friends, and then you got um, these here, the different ones. So it comes with both of them, and these here they change they, phew, when you when you hit those targets. Oh, sorry. So that's what that looks like. Um, Anyways, so I just got this little cheap deal here. Just this is just for, so like for my vector because I shoot ten millimeter. Uh, I don't know how this is gonna hold up to ten millimeter, but oh Jesus, those are small. Holy moly, um, my lord. Um, I'm not that good of a shot. Man, those are like an inch and a half. I'm gonna guess these are like inch and a quarter. Man, those things are small. Okay, I was right at first, inch and a half. These little guys are inch and a half. Man, if you're plinking these with a nine millimeter handgun or my 10 millimeter vector, my Lord, you're a crack shot. Um, I will probably just return this because this is just um, really, really small. And then this here, this is just a deal um, to hold up the paper targets. Um, that's just kind of self-explanatory. It has little clips that, that do that and hold them on there. 
So, anyways, time's up. It's got ready to shut off. It's going to shut off here in a few seconds. So, see you next time.